Understanding Settlement Dispute in English Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're diving into a very interesting topic. The meaning and use of the phrase, settlement dispute. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced learner, understanding such phrases is key to mastering English. So, let's get started, and by the end of this video, you'll be more confident in using and understanding settlement dispute. First, let's break down the phrase into two parts, settlement and dispute. Settlement refers to an agreement or resolution, especially in a legal context, where parties conclude a disagreement by reaching a mutual decision. It often involves compromise or the payment of damages. Dispute, on the other hand, is a disagreement or argument about something important. It can occur in various settings, from personal relationships to international relations, but it's especially common in legal, business, and financial contexts. When combined, settlement dispute generally refers to a disagreement about the terms or execution of a settlement. This could involve disputes over the amount to be paid, the manner of payment, or any conditions attached to the settlement. To better understand settlement dispute, let's look at a few examples. 1. In a legal setting, two companies might reach a settlement over a patent infringement case. However, if one company believes the other is not adhering to the agreed terms, a settlement dispute may arise, potentially leading to further negotiations or legal action. 2. In personal or community contexts, neighbors might resolve a boundary issue through a settlement. If later one party does not follow the agreed terms, such as not moving a fence to the agreed position, a settlement dispute can occur, requiring additional discussion or mediation. These examples show how settlement disputes can arise in different areas of life, emphasizing the importance of clear agreements and good communication. Resolving a settlement dispute often requires negotiation skills and sometimes legal advice. Here are a few tips. Communication. Open and honest communication can often resolve misunderstandings before they escalate. Documentation. Keep detailed records of agreements and communications to support your position. Seek mediation. A neutral third party can help mediate the dispute and find a resolution acceptable to all parties. Legal consultation. In complex cases, consulting with a legal professional can provide guidance on your rights and the best course of action. Understanding and using the phrase, settlement dispute, correctly can enhance your English communication skills, especially in professional and legal contexts. We hope this video has shed light on this important phrase and equipped you with the knowledge to handle such situations effectively. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful English learning content. See you in the next video.